Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Midweek Mentor. I will be your host today, Elliot, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel, or if you're watching on Facebook, please push like and share. It really helps a lot in getting the message out. I've got a lot to cover today, so I'm gonna jump right into our content. The Midweek Mentor today is called How to Have Honor. It's actually leading into this Sunday's content this sunday we're going to be talking about having how to have a culture of honor but i want to talk to you briefly here in the the midweek sub 15 minute uh content section of how to have honor and i want to give you what my friend pastor matt lacy has has shared some of his the core values of his church with us and he said it a certain way that really helps me to think about it he says we honor up down and all around And I I thought to myself, that's a good way of thinking about it. Because the more I thought about the way that he shares that with his church, I realized that that is a very biblical way to move forward as we're concluding this this series with liberty and justice for all. The capstone of this is, is, is to show honor, is to learn how to show honor to people, especially who aren't exactly like us, how to be honorable to to all people, of course, but but to begin, man, we should really be thinking about how to how to have honor in in every single direction: the people above us, the people below us, in front of us, behind us, and all around us. So, the first one is honoring up and those with positions of authority over you. And this one, to me, is one of the most important areas to have honor. Also, it's one of the most difficult areas. Uh, to honor uh, people because it closely reflects your relationship with God or lack thereof. Yes, the way we honor people who are in front of us or above us in authority directly relates to the kind of relationship we have with God. Yes, it's true. How you treat your manager, how you treat your boss, how you treat your governor, how you treat your parents, your president, the police, even the mall cop at the mall. Yes, the way that you treat the people that have been given authority over you closely relates to the way that you have a relationship with your father in heaven. It it matters more than your knowledge of scripture. It matters more than your church attendance. It matters more it it some it's something that is inherent it's something that's built in and it's a principle that god has instituted that we are to show honor and and honor those in authority over us especially when you don't agree with those people listen to romans 13 i wrote it down right here romans 13 verses 1 and 2 goes like this Everyone must submit to the governing authorities for all authority, all authority comes from God. And those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. So anyone who rebels against authority is rebelling against what God has instituted and they will be punished. They will be punished. I don't want to be punished. Do you want to be punished? No, you don't want to be punished. I don't want to be punished. We, we need to honor the authority that's been put over us. So don't be fooled. You can't pretend to be a God-loving Christian and treat your authority like trash. It just doesn't work that way. If you read closely in that scripture, you're actually rebelling against God. You're not just rebelling against the authority that's been appointed over you. But on the plus side, this makes honoring God uh, very simple. Simply honor the people that God has put in authority in your life and that will, that will increase the relationship that you have with God simply by choosing to honor the people who have authority over you. That's honoring up. It's, it's, it's a little tough. I get it. But it's very, very important. If you can't tell, it's a point of passion for me. It's something that uh, matters a lot to me. I, I know I, um, I want to honor my parents, my spiritual parents, my, my, my pastors, my, my, my governing authorities, 
you know, this is, this is all very, very important to me. It's something that I want to do because I don't want to compromise my relationship with the Lord. Because it says if I'm, if I'm rebelling against them, I'm rebelling against God himself, who is the one who created the system of authority. He created the, you know, the, we, we, don't, we didn't create authority. God created authority. So it's not saying that, that um, every single person that's in authority is automatically doing the right thing. It doesn't say that at all. It's saying that God, the Bible is saying that God created authority structure to work a certain way. And we as believers, our, our responsibility is to, our, our first instinct should be to, sub, should be to be submissive. Some people don't like that word. Being submissive is no fun. Well, you know, being a Christian wasn't supposed to be all sunshine and roses all the time. Submitting to our authority is, it's supposed to be a little difficult. And if it's not a little difficult, it's not actually something that we have to devote ourselves to do. <laughs> submission isn't submission if, if it's easy. <laughs> There's a quotable for you. We want to honor down as well. We don't just want to honor up. We want to honor down which those in positions um, under your care. Think about people like, like your kids, your employees, uh, people that have been um, entrusted under your care that you're responsible for. We don't just need to honor upwards. We need to honor those people that we've been entrusted with and we need to show honor to, to them as well. Ephesians 6, uh, starting in verse four, it says, fathers do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them, rather bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. If you are a parent, you are mandated to treat your kids honorably with respect. Of course, we all know, kids, you better honor your mother and father or else I'm gonna... But the Bible says also very clearly, directly, directly to us that we're supposed to treat our kids with honor as well and not provoke them to anger. A couple verses later in verse nine, yes, masters treat your slaves the same way. This is an employment type of thing. Back thousands of years ago, this was, this was talking about employment. Uh, people were slaves by employ. Don't threaten them. Masters treat your slaves the same way. Don't threaten them. Remember, you both have the same master in heaven and he has no favorites. The Bible is, is telling us very clearly that we need to honor not just up, but we need to honor down. We need to honor behind people who are following you. We need to show honor to those who are following behind you because honor is something that is universal. And this is the big takeaway. This is what on Sunday we're gonna dive into very, very deeply and clearly. And I only have a couple minutes to talk to you about it now, but when we're supposed to be honoring in a 360 degree way, up, down, and all around. Let me talk about this last one, honoring all around uh, the people right next to you, your peers, your neighbors. Um, <laughs> I was in the gym the other day and uh, I saw somebody giving the, the, the check-in girl, you know, she's just, she's just doing her job, right? And um, this, somebody didn't want to wear a mask, a face mask, you know? Um, we all have to wear face masks right now. It's just part of the law. And uh, this person didn't, wasn't having it. They were like, I, I wear that thing. You know, it's like, respect your authority. You know, respect, respect others enough to just, to just honor them. They're just doing their job. Man, I, I, would, I would wear a mask just to honor the people around me, simply. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a medical professional. I, that's not what this video is about. Um, this video is about honor. And if I can show honor to people around me by making my face a little hot, all right, fine, fine. I mean, <laughs> my wife was saying, uh, Tiffany was saying that people in the Middle East, because my wife was a missionary in the, in the East, and... Uh, you know, people, uh, women, they cover their faces all day. It's just cultural. And then in China, people have been wearing face masks for years because of the smog. It's like, it's not that big a deal. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. But we've forgotten about the honor. Like, I want to show honor 
to, to the person across from me. Um, Paul said in uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 8, Paul was talking about, he also talks about this in Romans 14, how if, if it, it convicts you to eat a certain food and makes you feel like you're not doing the right thing or you, you need to wear a face covering or you don't want to eat a certain food or you want to be a vegetarian, um, if that's what you think, and it bothers you if I don't wear my mask, if it bothers you if I eat meat around you, well, you know, I'll never eat meat again. That, let's just read it. It says it in 1 Corinthians 8, 13. So if what I eat, this is Paul speaking, and he's, he's, he's writing to the church in Corinth. So if what I eat causes another believer to sin or stumble, I will never eat meat again. And he already said, he already said in other places that it's not even a sin to eat meat. You can eat all the meat you want. Man, we're having duck and chicken and beef and pork and all this kind of stuff. He probably wouldn't have pork. But, you know, he's saying that even this food that was sacrificed to idols, man, you can eat all of that. It's not a big deal. He goes over it in length. But he says right here, if it causes you to sin, if it causes you to stumble, if it causes you to struggle, I will never eat meat again as long as I live. <laughs> Why? Because honor is more important, because honoring the person across from you is more important than being right. For I don't want another, I don't want to cause another believer to stumble. Hmm. We want to honor our authority. We want to honor the people that are coming behind us under our authority. And we want to honor the people that are just our peers, people right next to us. Uh, honor is, I think, a lost art in our culture, which is why I'm calling this, the message coming up a culture of honor is because I, I want it to start in the church and I want us to remember our roots and listen to what Paul has to say and listen to what Bible has to say about honoring each other and holding that in a higher regard than, than being right about everything. Right now, it feels like we want to we wanna be right more than we want to be, be right in our heart. We want to be right by the letter. You know, we don't, I don't technically, blah, 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 technically, shh. No, we want to honor. We want to honor each other. And that's why uh, we're going to be talking about that this Sunday. Uh, thank you for joining us today for this message. I hope it was helpful. I hope that um, it leads to um, a change in perspective. I hope it leads to life change for you that, that you would choose honor today. Choose honor over being right. Choose honor over having the higher ground. Choose honor over your own comfort uh, that we would all choose honoring the people in authority over us, the people under us, and the people all around us. That we would choose honor over our own wants, needs, and desires. But we would be like Paul when he said, if it causes someone else to stumble, if it causes someone else to hurt, if it causes someone else to be in pain, well, you know what? I'm gonna choose to honor them, even if it's, even if it's a drawback to me. I'm gonna honor you for that. Hey everybody, I hope this I hope this really helped you. We love you. God bless you and I'm so glad that you're tuning in. Um, but again, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, and if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to like and share this and if you're watching on Instagram, you are the real MVP. All right guys, we love you. God bless you and we will talk to you again very soon.